Welcome students, I am back with the new video but before starting with the new topic, let's take a quick recap of the previous. Abacus, 3000 BC, made in China, used to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Number 2. Napier Bones John Napier, a Scottish mathematician, developed a device, Napier's Bones. The device was mainly developed for performing multiplication, division and square root. Number 3. Pascaline Bless Pascal in the year 1642-44 invented a machine, Pascaline. It used gears, wheels and dials. Numbers were displayed by rotating the wheels. Taximeter is a perfect example of a mechanical calculator. Lebanese Calculator Lebanese, the famous German mathematician, improved on Pascal's machine in 1673. It was a mechanical device. Charles Babbage, father of computer, invented difference engine in 1822 and analytical engine in 1833. Herman Holreth, an American statistician, invented a machine called tabulating machine. Howard Aiken, he was the primary engineer in IBM who developed the first automatic sequence controlled calculator, the Mark I. It was capable of executing long computations automatically. Today we will continue with the new topic that is generations of computers. Generations of computers. The generation of computers means time to time improvements in computer technology. Around 1946, the electronic technology circuits were developed to perform the calculations and counting etc. This technology replaced the mechanical components like gears and other parts that were used to perform calculations in earlier computing devices. There are five generations of computers. Children, today we will only discuss about first generation computers. Time period of this generation is from 1942 to 59. The first generation computers were based on the use of vacuum tubes. These computers used magnetic tapes to store data. These computers relied on machine language to perform any operation and could solve only one problem at a time. Now the question is, what is machine language? So, the set of symbolic instruction codes usually in binary that is 0 or 1 form that is used to represent the and data in a machine such as a computer called machine language. Input was based on punched cards and paper tapes. Output was displayed on printouts. These computers were low, expensive and large in size and consumed a large amount of energy. Now we will discuss hardware components used in first generation. Number 1. Vacuum Tubes the computers of first generation used vacuum tubes as the basic components for memory and circuitry for CPU, that is central processing unit. These tubes, like electric bulbs, produced a lot of heat and the installations used to fuse frequently. Number two, punch cards. Punch cards or Punched cards, also known as Hallred cards or IBM cards, are, pa are paper cards in which holes may be punched by hand or machine to represent computer data and instructions. Now we will discuss the characteristics of first generation computers. 
Number one, huge in size. Number two, very expensive. Number three, slow processing speed. Number four, punch cards and paper tapes were used as input device. Number five, output is generated in the form of printouts. Number six, generates a lot of heat during working. Number seven, consumes a lot of electricity. Number eight, solved only one problem at a time. Now we will discuss few examples of first generation computers in this. Number one is ENIAC, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Computer. Number two, EDVAC, Electronic Discrete Variable Automatic Computer. Number three, UNIVAC 1, Universal Automatic Computer. Number four, IBM 650. And number five is IBM 701. Now first we will discuss about ENIAC. The first journal purpose electronic digital computer was invented by John Modgley and J. Presper Eckert in 1946. It consisted of 18,000 vacuum tubes and was 1,000 times faster than the Mark I. It could add two large numbers in 200 microsecond. Number two, it worked is a modern type of computer came into existence with John von Neumann's development of software written in binary code. It was John von Neumann who started the practice of storing data and instructions in binary code in the memory. Neumann joined hands with Presper Eckert American electrical engineer and John Modgley, American physics in a consulting role and EDVAC was built using binary code in 1950. It was an improved version of ENIAC. EDVAC's concept of storing different programs on punched cards led to the advancement of computers that we know today. Number 3. UNIVAC 1 was the world's first commercially available computer designed by J. Presper Eckert and John Modgley in 1951. It was the first computer to handle both numeric and text data. It was also the first computer that was equipped with magnetic tape unit and used the buffer memory. Number 4. IBM 650 The IBM 650 magnetic drum data processing machine is an early digital computer produced by IBM Corporation in the mid-1950s. The first one was installed in late 1954 and it was the most popular computer for the next five years. The 650 is a vacuum tube logic, drum memory, decimal, not binary computer. Data is stored in words containing 10 decimal digits and a sign. And instructions operate in numbers stored in this format. IBM call the 650 an automatic calculator, not a computer. And now under this category, the last one is IBM 701. In the year 1953, IBM 701 EDPM was developed, which was the first commercially successful journal purpose computer. Its invention was due to the Korean War effort and its inventor Thomas Johnson Watson Jr. desired to contribute what he called a defense calculator to help in the UN's policy of Korea. So only this much for today. We will continue in the next video. 
Till then, bye-bye. Stay home, stay safe.